Capgun here, One Handy Gamer. Got a new video for you. Playing on District. You're like, District? This isn't on Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, it's on COD 4. If you guys have never played COD 4 before, this is one of the maps. And this map definitely needs to be on Modern Warfare 2. I think they need to make another map pack. <clears throat> uh, at least, you know, just one more map pack. Just. Why not bring all the boards back over to Modern Warfare 2 for the last map pack? Why not? Just do it. It would, it would be it'd be cool because you you would get the kill streaks and you get the perks and you know it would be fun. I I, I would think it it would make us happy. Um, I don't know. A back lot would be awesome. I know it's very small, but if, if they did it only they did. Um, they did Team Tactical on Backlot, and uh, no, you know, regular TDM, no Ground War, none of that. I think it would, it, people would enjoy it, people would like it, but, I don't know, that's, that's just my opinion. I think uh, if they would add just maybe a, a few more boards on Modern Warfare 2, it'd be kind of cool, but, don't charge $15, charge like, I don't know, charge like five or something something ridiculous because you already have the boards you know they're already there what what else do you have to do to make it that that compatible for modern warfare 2 uh, i'm not a programmer but i'm sure it doesn't uh, cost really that much and you already made enough money off modern warfare 2 i think you deserve it, it, us uh, gamers deserve something more from modern warfare 2 after the fact that you know their whole I think I, I believe what I what I've been reading is that that whole Infinity War company just completely compli compli ugh, collapsed and you know if you're not gonna fix the game then fine great give us some more maps you know, I, I don't I don't care. That's fine with me. Maybe some new ones too. You know, you, you got Carnival, you got you know, you got the other um, the trailer park, you got fuel. Those maps are great. Do more of that. You know, I, I don't really mind all of those boards at all. I think they're they're done. They're made pretty well. I, personally, I think fuel is huge, and I think there's already a glitch on fuel where you can hide into a rock or some stupid crap like that why don't fix uh, why don't why aren't you fixing that why aren't you are why aren't you investigating this stuff I guess they're just they're just done with the game I guess they don't they don't even care it, it seemed to a point where that they were going to do something about it but then I I guess they just they they gave all all hope up for that game I guess I mean whatever so it's it's gonna still have a bunch of glitches in it and then uh, they're gonna come well Treyarch's gonna come out with black ops everybody's gonna go black black ops I don't think anybody's gonna play Modern Warfare 2 unless they really really felt that um, they enjoyed it that much that you know they're gonna go back to it and, and, and I love Modern Warfare 2 I know I, I dog it sometimes and that I say bad things about it, but I, I to me personally, I love Modern Warfare 2. It, I always go back to that game, no matter what. I always go back to that game because there's so many different things you can do. I know sometimes it gets old, you know, the same thing over and over again because you know you you got all that you know crap that's in there that's wrong with it, and uh, but. You can, you know, try different things, and it, it makes it interesting. You know, you got more things versus, you know, COD 4 that you can do in it. I, I know I'm not really talking about the gameplay right now, and I, I apologize for that, but I'm just I'm just saying that, you know, Modern Warfare 2 is a great game, so I, ju I just want to make that clear for those people that thought that I'm, I'm dogging it or something like that. I, I always play Modern Warfare 2. Even though it might seem like I'm just playing these games and showing you commentary on uh, Medal of Honor, I was just trying Medal of Honor for a while. You know, I, I I'm probably gonna buy Medal of Honor, like I said before, but it, it's not gonna be to a point where I'm gonna play Medal of Honor over the COD series. It, this this one started off for me, and I'm sure I'm gonna be playing Call of Duty for a long time, um, unless uh, my hand breaks, which would be horrible. I'm not saying. 
it would. I'm just saying that would just be horrible. And um, you know that that goes to saying that you got to be careful what you say, you know, because things can happen that would, would be un unexpected and tragic for some uh, some people, especially me. <laughs> Um, but uh, I'm just uh, rambling here. I'm gonna s start talking about the gameplay. I'm using the RPD like last time, using stop and power, using deep impact, using the grip. I think I change a couple weapons in this game. I think I go from the AK-47 to the MP5 later in this video. I'm not really for sure how many kill streaks I'm on right now. I think I got a couple. Uh, minute ago I'm not really for sure the full deal of it because I've been kind of just rambling and looking at the screen at the same time and I just can't pay attention to everything so I'm, right now I, I whip out the the AK-47 and everybody likes this game uh, in this game the AK-47 because of its accuracy there really isn't that much recoil the recoil is there but it's not a, as much as Modern Warfare 2 so this weapon is very effective in this uh, game. If, you, if you've never played uh, Call of Duty 4, or if you have played Call of Duty 4, I'm sure you already know about that. And I always capture the flags, I always capture the points, because I'm a team player, and that's what you love about me, because I just don't go for the kills, I, I go for the objective as well, as much as possible. Now, if I'm going to go for something big like a nuke, which this, this game doesn't count for a nuke, but I'm just using that as an example, there would be some situations where I'd be more camping, and uh, I think that's acceptable if you're trying to go for a high kill streak. You're not going to get a high kill streak running around like a crazy man, but I've seen some crazy videos of people knifing and getting nukes, so I can understand. Uh, it's not very difficult if you run around knifing, but uh, taking a, a shot or two at some guy, you, you might uh, have to be reloading or something like that, or throwing a grenade, and uh, you probably get killed. It's happened a couple times to me. And, um, you know, it sucks. You know, you, you almost get your nuke and then you fail. I uh, will be posting another one of those here pretty soon. I know you guys love my nuke videos. But just give me some time here. I want to get some of these other vi videos out. And hopefully you guys enjoy some of this gameplay that I got. I know I, I don't present a high running gun aspect. And I failed there. Uh, but, you know, it, it goes to show that I... I pretty much you know do do this game pretty well I like the knife in this game this is the way the knife should be they need to uh, bring the, the knife from COD 4 to Black Ops definitely that would be awesome and you know hopefully in the future we're gonna see that that turnaround for the 3d and if Call of Duty series went 3d I don't know what that's gonna be like that would be uh, pretty insane and hopefully in the future the, Something like that will happen. I know we'll, you'll have to have a TV for it, I think. And definitely have uh, glasses. I, what I've been hearing, the glasses are going to be $100. And that that's going to suck. Uh, you better be pre pretty careful with those things. I don't think there's going to be a warranty on them either. So <laughs> it's going to be a one-shot deal. I mean, shoot, $100? That's just crazy. Hopefully on eBay you'll be able to buy them in pairs, you know, for like 50 bucks or something. That'll be awesome. But we're just going to have to wait and see. I, I haven't seen anything in the stores yet. I know it's going to be pretty soon. It's going to come out. I know there's been shows advertising it and things like that. So um, what I've been hearing is it's it's going to be the, the thing of the future. That's pretty much all TVs are going to go 3D. And I'm sure you're going to have an option go 3D or not, of course. And I'm sure a lot of people won't even have a, a TV capable of outputting that. So it's probably going to be about another five years, I guess, until you see most people with, with those type of TVs if you know it, it becomes popular. I don't know if it's going to be just a fad or something. So who knows? You know, the, the DVD player, you know, that... That's it's been around for a while, so who knows? You know, it, it might be as, ex as successful, but you know, 3D has been around for a long time. It's it's been I, I don't even know when it, it it was invented per se. I'm sure it's it's been around for years, probably back in the the 60s or 70s. Who knows? I'm sure somebody knows, but um, hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay. I, I always like to change up my weapons. 
if I, I'm not playing a game for, you know, a long period of time, you know, if I pop this game in my PS3 and it's, you know, been a while, I like to change it up, not use the same weapon over and over again. This is a nice little little area where you can pick off a couple of kills. If you're a sniper, it's, it's sniper galore. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay. It wasn't the greatest, but I think I went like 26 and 13 or something. So... If you guys liked it, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and hopefully you guys uh, check out my other vids. Cap gun out.